Hello, and welcome back to Paul and Lynn's Ride to Glen Reading and Beyond. Now, as I said earlier, Beyond <coughs> meant Coniston. So we're just we're just departing Coniston. Just passing these uh, horses. That's a nice nice wave off uh, one of the riders. That's always a nice thing to to uh, receive. Because it's um, <coughs> joint respect for the roads. Um, right, yeah, so we're leaving uh, Coniston. Uh, as you can see, very, very busy. Lots of uh, people enjoying the sunshine. And there was, uh, there was like a running event going on. So lots of laughter. And I said to Lynn, <coughs> I says, Do you think when we get home... Back to Blackburn, there'll be lots of laughter. Well, hmm, I don't think so. But there again, there might be somewhere. So, but on the whole, no. So what you do, you leave Blackburn and you go look for it. And we found it today. And what a delightful place to spend a day. So we're just coming out on the... Uh, on the, uh, I think it's a B road out of, uh, I do actually name it later on, I think, I'm not sure. But um, heading towards Torver and then eventually through to uh, the 5092. I love that road. That road, if you turn right when we reach there, that turns into the 595 and that takes you up to places like um, Raymond Glass um, sort of um, Workington C Cockermouth St Bees, not in that order but all up that coast and it's a lovely road and if you've not seen our ride uh, going up the 595 <coughs> the, um, there's a ride that we did with the club and that was the uh, Ratty Arms ride so that one was um, very very pleasurable there's Lynn enjoying the sunshine having a good look round and the uh, the good thing about this camera at this point apart from seeing Lynn enjoying the ride is um, <clears throat> the sun is directly in front of me so my camera is suffering from a little bit of um, blindness with the sun so at least you can see the um, nice blue sky behind um, so really nice yeah <clears throat> excuse me I've got a bit of a frog in my throat I'll just clear it it's better There you go, we're picking up speed now. Now as I'm speaking, today is the 24th of March. And we've got some, some rain today. A little bit of uh, light rain, it's uh, not doing an awful lot. And uh, we have had a nice, nice dry spell of about two weeks I think we've had two weeks which for us is uh, is a long dry spell so always welcome but today a um, bit of rain now I believe tomorrow which is Good Friday I believe the, the weather forecast is reasonable it was at uh, last Sunday I think it was when we saw the weather for the week on country foul and it said a little ridge of high pressure was building in after today's rain which we have we've got the rain as forecast and uh, and I think they said a little ridge of high pressure would sort of drift across from west to east so it's just a, a brief lull before wet and windy weather uh, reaches us on <laughs> on um, Saturday. Here we are, this is Torver. 
So just uh, all the while, just coming round the opposite side of Ullswater. And uh, they chose Ullswater for the uh, for the speed record with uh, Blueberry with Donald Campbell because um, it's it's ideally you know the shape of it. It's just um, you know it's the, it's the best lake with the you know a straight a straight run at it. You know so that's why they chose um, Ullswater. Uh, sorry, not Ullswater, Coniston. Did I say Oldswater before? No, I meant Coniston, not Oldswater. Come on, Paul. As I've said before, there's only... They call it the Lake District. That's the National Park. But there's only one lake. And, uh, Can anybody name which lake it is? And what the, what the, uh, the name of it is. So, please comment in the uh, the comments field with the, with your answer I have named it on previous uh, videos or video <coughs> but um, I'll let you tell me this time because people call people say Lake Windermere well it's not Lake Windermere it's just Windermere now Mere means water so you know, although there's, there's the town of Coniston, it's named after the body of water, Coniston. And Windermere is the same. There's a body of water, Windermere, and there's a town of Windermere. I'm just trying to think if there's, if there's another one. Can't think of one I've found. Again, anybody who knows better. Or otherwise, let me know. Right, so, put some music on. We're not being a skinflint on this one. We're going to put some music on. So sit back, enjoy the ride. Please comment and share. I do look forward to your comments. As Mortonut says, it's a community, so get involved. Okay. Thanks very much for watching the series, and we'll see you on the next one. Bye for now.